Uh, I'm gonna guess this is the character creator. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna make a character. Um... Okay, we're gonna make my main character from my game series. Probably. If I can figure out how. Um, um... Let's randomize it a couple times first. Uh, you know, there are a lot of, um, options. And this definitely looks better than stupid VX Aces. I mean... Yeah... <laughs> they, they actually don't look incredibly creepy. Okay, well, most of them don't. Some of them actually look like relatively decent people. And I love that it generates, like, the, the battle and the walking sprites and... Uh, let's see, face graphic, walk sprite, damage character? Oh, so, like, when they're damaged. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, battler. Okay, yeah. That's cool. So, let's try to make my original character. Ah, uh, she's female. She... No, I can't tell the- oh, slightly different. Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. It looks tiny. Uh, ooh, colors. Yeah, she totally has green skin. Totally. Um, this one looks right. Let's see. This is probably what I'm going to be doing for a few minutes, so uh, I'll put like a thing in so you can skip past this if you really don't want to care about the character generator. Wonder what's sad though? This is probably my favorite feature just because I like creating characters, and I'm never going to use it because I do my own graphics. I mean, you can probably import your own graphics into here and have it generate your own stuff, but I don't know, it's just like, why would I do that? Okay, that probably looks about right. Um, well, the other one's really... Well, that one maybe. Uh, her hair is more, like, down-ish. Not quite... Oh, this is gonna be forever. <laughs> I will get to doing more interesting things. It'll just take me a bit. Let's go with that one. Maybe. No, let's, let's go with that one. <laughs> I don't know! Okay, that one. Going with that one. And, uh... Way too bright. Okay, yeah, let's go with this one. Um, this one. Is there like a ponytail? There's very much like a ponytail. Although, this is cuter. Okay. Mm uh, I think that's the only ponytail one. Oh, there's a short ponytail. That's cute. But, I think we're gonna go with accuracy here and go with this one. Yeah, okay. Um, sub color. Color, color. Uh, I don't exactly know what this is changing. I can't actually tell. Oh well, I'll come back to sub-color. Hair color! So apparently clicking on this defaults it to, like, the, 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 the blonde color. Okay. I don't know what that color is about. I know it's there, but... Uh, ears. Okay, you have you have normal people ears. Can you... Will that change all of that, or... Yeah, okay. I just draws the same color. You can go with that one. Uh, eyes. Hmm. I always envisioned you with, like, cat color, or cat color? Cat-styled eyes for some reason. I used to draw you like that, and then you kind of stopped when I had to draw you a bunch, and then you got kind of generic eyes. Eh, that's close enough to my style. Uh, let's go blue. Can I change the position? Uh, it doesn't look like I can. Eh, eh. No. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll have to deal with her eyes being up that high. That's fine. Eyebrows! Eyebrows are blue. Okay, um, actually, eyebrows should be black. What am I talking about? Oh, really? That'll, like, only let me keep the one color? That's so sad. Um, mm, mm, grrr. <laughs> okay, this is gonna end up being, like, the weirdest video I've ever done. Okay, that's... I don't know, you aren't exactly, like... Let's go with that. Let's go with that. 
I like that. Nose! Default, probably, is the one I'm gonna go with. These have such slight, such, such slight differences. Let's go with that one, it's closest to my style, I think. Mouth! Do you think a cat mouth? Is that the one I was on? I'm not sure. Okay, let's do a cat mouth. Uh, facial mark! I don't think those really apply. Beast ears. <gasps> Kitty ears! Kitty ears! Kitty ears! Can't actually see them because of that stupid bow on her head. It's fine. She doesn't have cat ears anyway. Uh, tail. You know? She can have a tail this time. Unless it's gonna be blue. They get their own colors? Okay, they get their own colors. There, you can have a tail. Uh, I'm not gonna give you wings. Clothing. Um... These are really cute. Or at least you can change a bunch of the colors it looks like though. Um Bear with me. I'm gonna attempt to zoom in and if it screws up my recording, I'm gonna uh do a thing. Okay, I hope that doesn't screw things up, but, you know, it might, and if it does, I'm really sorry. Uh, I actually had a really hard time seeing these because they're so tiny. Um, let's see. What kind of outfit would you wear out of these? Her hands are, like, in front of her. It looks really weird. I wish you could change their poses. I mean, they're probably fine the way they are, but... Probably the closest I'm gonna get to actually what she wears. I don't know, let's check a few others. I keep looking at the battle thing, but I actually should be looking at the walk sprite because you can see it better. Oh yeah, you're totally like that. You know, some of these are actually pretty trippy. Trippy being a good thing. Actually, I kind of like that one. Make you look like totally epic or something. These definitely look very RPG, and they look really detailed too, which is nice. I don't know, I liked this one. Let me just uh, make one of these. Okay, this black. What does this one do? You yeah, know, this one can be pink too. Okay, <laughs> let's go with that. Um, it's it's cute. Uh, ooh, we should give you a cape. Sorry, a cloak. Yeah, I think you'd wear a red cloak. Uh, he looks so weird. Um. Okay, that's way too bright. I actually really like that color, but it's like so weird. Oh, should I make that black? Yeah, okay, let's just go with black. Well, ah! <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay. Sure. Let's let's. Nah. Accessory two. I'm assuming this is the ribbon on her head. That's cool. It's irrelevant. It's a mage hat. I like that one. Mm. It's also like a mage hat. I guess I'm going with the ribbon, although I'm changing the color to like red. Actually, I should make it blue. Because in my game, she ends up with a blue ribbon at the end. Dude, a plot! Gotta love plot. white. How about back to blue? <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. 
Um. Yeah, okay, let's give you some glasses just to check these out. Oh, yeah. Akira, okay, you have so much swag. <laughs> no, you aren't gonna. We aren't, we aren't gonna do that. Okay, so this is our character. I still wish I could change your eyes down. But I guess that's okay, all things considered. Um, I'm actually gonna real quick change your eyebrows. To, like. I don't know, it's not like she's like, grr, I'm the main character and I'm so angsty, grr. Okay, let's let's do that one. I don't think that was the one I was on. Okay, let's go ahead and magnify her now. I am so blind. Um, okay, face image, export. Uh, yeah, cool, it takes me right to the face pages. Face page. Um, uh, GM characters. One. <laughs> Sure. Uh, a cool thing that I noticed while watching one of um, RPG Maker Web's videos is you can import them, right? And like, somehow, like, move them around, and it's just really cool. I don't actually need that there, so can I delete that? Well, whatever. I exported it anyway, so it's fine. Uh, what character? Export. GM. Characters. GM characters one <laughs> I don't know if I actually wrote it the same way but okay um okay so that one's done damage character uh, GM characters one damage damage one let's go one damage DMG. she's so cute um, battler. Export. Uh, GM characters one. Okay, and you can actually save settings, which is really cool. In case you, you know, forget to export a graphic and need to go back and have to redesign the whole stupid thing again. Uh, okay, this is is going in the right place, so that's fine. Um, uh, uh Akira MV thing thing we spell on this channel uh it's an interesting file type save okay so then we can probably just load the settings and you know it'll be great anyway that's enough of the character creator now that I've got my character let's uh make her the main character actors Harold Harold I'm sorry but you're not gonna be the um, okay, totally scrolled that down to five. Let's see. Name? Akira. Nickname? Well, she has a couple nicknames. I'm gonna go with Akiaki. Aki. Class. Hero! You know, out of all of these, hero sounds most applicable. Uh, profile. Let's read one of these as an example. Or they don't have any. Come on, lazy programmers. I'm just kidding, you guys are great. Um... Let's see. We're going to leave this blank. Because I has no examples. Sad. Smiley face! Okay. Uh, speaking of face... GM characters 1. GM characters... What am I doing? Character character? This one. And... Side view battler. This one. Looks awesome. Okay. Um, weapon. Sword. More of a daggers girl, but swords work. Uh, shields? Sure, you can do shields. You're like a hero and stuff. Head. Well, you're more of a ribbon girl, but okay. Body. Let's click the right one. Body. Uh, cloth, okay, and armor, um, ring! Okay, uh, let's see, do you guys have traits? No? Okay, well you don't need traits then. You're not cool enough for traits. Uh, I also need to change that on the system, and I keep looking over to the right expecting it to be there. Uh, I'm gonna actually make this more dark blue. Um, how do I, here, starting party. I have more than four characters. I seriously? Well, Harold, you're gonna go scrub the H. Wait, wait, wait. You kinda 
like paste you at the top. <laughs> cool, I can. How many characters can I have? Well, I only have the five, then I did a little let me try to add more of the same character. Um, okay, uh, I think we're good. Let's see, I did the character generator. This is probably the database, and for a second I thought it wouldn't let me just go to the next thingy on there. Uh, plugin manager! I'll do this later when I figure out how to use plugins. <laughs> I got a whole ton of them from the um, pre-order bonus, which is nice. Sound test is probably the same. Very, very much the same. Might have new sounds, but I'll check that out later. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Not what I wanted to click on, and actually I saw something, and I think this is the music one, yeah. What does this do? Is this like a fade-in thing or something? No, I'll have to look at that. That's neat. Uh, event searcher. This is a godsend. Okay, theoretically, how this is gonna work is um, say you base your game a lot on variables, and then halfway through the game, you find out that oops, I added an extra variable somewhere, and I have no idea where, and it screws up my entire game. So what you can probably do is search the variable and have it come up down here, you know, provided I had that in somewhere. Like, uh... Like, like... Like, like... Crap, this is all in a different location. Uh, variables, which... This looks like very... Search me. Yay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cuz I want to see what kind of stuff this searches exactly, but, uh, search variable that, yeah, it shows their position and which page it's, oh, that is awesome, I love you, RPG Maker, this is my new favorite, uh, yeah, you can search the event name, switches, and you can go away now, I just needed you there because, oh, that is awesome. 